this one, this one, or this one. Go. Okay. <laughs> Look who I have here. I have Boogie. Today's going to be a special video because we are going to do Dog Picks Up My Makeup Tag. We already picked up the makeup, right, Boogs? We already picked it up, right? He's a little shy. He's not really like treat trained or stuff like that. So he doesn't really like treats and he just likes to play. It was a struggle. But eventually we got all of our makeup products picked out. I think he picked out good makeup products. There are some products that I've picked out because I only have one of them. So like it doesn't make sense for him to pick it out because I only have one of them and I'm going to use it anyways. Like mascara, I only have one of them. Liner, I only have one of them. My eyebrow products, I only have one of them. Oh, and he is a Chihuahua and Yorkie mix. I don't know how that's possible. So well, he's so cute and he's a little fat. He's a little fat, but it's okay, right, Boggy? Tell him. Tell him. If you're new to my channel and my videos, hi, my name is Leslie and I make beauty and lifestyle videos. One quick fact about me is that I have two dogs, actually. This is just one of them. I also have a Shih Tzu as well. I post a picture right here because he does not like to be on camera. He barely likes to be next to me, so. My other dog is a 10-year-old Shih Tzu, but he's only four. This one is only four, right, boys? Right? Without further ado, let's just get right on to the video. Stay. 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 Okay. Which one? That one? Okay, yay! First, he picked out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I really like that he picked this one out because the other two are not really my shades and I have to mix it with this. But he knew deep down that I wanted to use this one. So we are just going to place it all over our face and just blend it all out. I recently got the concealer for this and I'm so excited to try it. Maybe in my next video I'll try it out. Then we'll see how it performs with the foundation because I did a little swatch on my hand. It's not really on my hand anymore, but it's really, 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 really nice and I I love it. I love it already. I only did a swatch. So I'm just blending this out with my Real Techniques Big 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 Beauty Blender. There's um a smaller one, but I really like this big body one because it just blends things out really, really fast. And I don't got time to be putting on makeup really slow. I really like this foundation because it's like not full, the fullest coverage, but you can build it up until like medium coverage. It's like light to medium. You still see my imperfections and stuff like that, but I don't care. Which one? This one, this one, and this one. Oh, that one. So after foundation is concealing, he picked the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I only buy good concealer, so like it's fine with me. So I really wanted him to pick the other concealer, but you know, that's going to be used for another day. You got the Rimmel Stay Matte, the Hourglass Powder, or this powder. That one? Okay, and the powder he chose was this powder right here. I gave him the option between this one, the Rimmel Stay Matte, and my Hourglass powder, and he picked this one apparently, so let's just move on with this one. I'm just going to put this one all over the face. As you know, I've been putting it all over the face, and it's been setting my face pretty well. We're just going to put this all over the face. And while we're at it, we're just going to bronze up the face with the contour side of the same palette. This is like my ultimate bronzer. Like, I don't know if I would ever switch out any other bronzer for this. It goes well with my skin tone. It's not too muddy and it's not too harsh. So, this is my bronzer. I'll repurchase it every single time. And it doesn't like stick onto your dry patches, which is nice. We're going to contour the nose a little just because we want our nose to look snake. I'm actually glad my nose isn't that big because people, I don't really like big noses and it's kind of creepy to have a big nose. So now that we placed all of the powder onto the face, we're going to be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist just to set all of the powders on our face. My eyebrows literally need like so much help even though I did them like a week ago and like they're just back to their original state like why? I'm a nice person. For our eyebrows we're going to be using our trusty NYX cake powder and brunette. Just filling in our eyebrows really lightly because we don't need black eyebrows at this point. We're trying to actually look nice, so the front of my eyebrows is so difficult to fill in because you don't want to fill it too much, but you don't want to fill it too little so it could look too sparse. For our eyeshadow palettes, we have a basic eyeshadow palette, which is the Naked Basics palette. We have the Lorac Pro 1 palette, and we have the Naked Peach palette. Bogus, look! What's this? Which one? 
Naked Basics palette. So my dog picked the basicest palette for the basicest person. He knows that I'm basic. So we're going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. This is so basic and like, I don't know what type of look we're going to do. I don't really want to do an, a look that's like really out there. So I'm going to use the Foxy shade to set all over our eyes. It's like a yellow tone shade and like my skin is like yellow. So I feel like this would be a nice shade. My sister, she like hit pan on most of these and it was like a palette she used every day so now she uses every other shade that are not these so we're going to take the naked two shade even though it's not really dark but i'm going to do put the naked two shade in my crease to have one crease color and then i'm going to put another crease color as well just so that it could have dimension and stuff like that we like dimension not dementia but dimension i'm actually glad that i bought my liner today because this is going to be a simple makeup look so with liner it's going to look a little nicer and now we're going to take the, the shade faint right here and putting it more into our crease i really want the morphe foundation and concealer but this is pinty well, it's not really expensive. Maybe when it goes into Ulta, I'll buy it, but we'll see how my wallet's looking. I'm going to place this color on my outer corner as well because it, like, I, like, went a little overboard, so we're just going to blend it out, right? If you blend it out, it's fine. We're going to take the color Venus, which is, like, a satin shade right here, and placing it on the inner corner. This is a really nice inner corner color. I used to put it on my inner corner a lot before. Now that my dog picked out this palette, I'm actually using it again. We're going to be placing the color Naked 2 on our bottom lash line, so we could just bring the look all together. I feel like I'm not going to put anything on my lids, because I just want it to be matte and stuff. So we're just going to continue by putting on our liquid liner. And this is a Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and I really like this. I mean, I haven't really tried it but i feel like i tried it before so maybe i like it i really like the brush tip applicator and it's like really nice and it's like three dollars so like that's a win for me i don't really like putting my eyeliner or mascara on camera so what i'm going to do is tell you what products i'm going to use and then we'll come back and like regroup so the two products i'm going to be using is the wet n wild mega liner liner and this one is my new mascara finally i got a new one and this is the maybelline less sensational mascara i've had this before so it's really nice and I really like the wand to it. It's a plastic wand, so it's really nice. And I'll come back to you in like two seconds. <laughs> okay, we're back. Hello. And we have our mascara and our eyeliner on. I haven't put on eyeliner in like what seems like years, so like it's kind of weird for me. We're going for a different option because he's not working out. So, which one? This one. Okay, he picked the sleek palette. So next we're going to move on to highlighter and my dog picked out this sleek palette. And the shade that I feel like I'm going to use today is this shade right here. This is the sleek um, Solis highlighting palette, but none of these shades have names to it. So I'm just going to pick this champagne -y color right here. I'm going to take my highlighter brush dip it in a few times and I'm going to place it on the center of my face. I really like having highlighter on the center of my face. Even more than highlighter on my cheekbones. We're going to also put it on the cheekbones. I also want to put a little bit on the brow bone, but I'm going to be using this shade right here. It's kind of yellowy, but I feel like it comes out to be more white than yellow. Which one? This one? This one, you put your butt on it, so I'm just gonna assume that it's this one. And the last thing we have to do is actually our lipstick, and my dog picked out this Milani Rose Femme lipstick. I used it in my last tutorial or my other tutorials. I really like the way this looks on me. It's not too dark, but it's not too nude, so it's like in the middle. So yeah. This is the makeup look. Well, so yes, guys, we finally made it to the end. We've made it. My dog picked out all these makeup items, and I'm not mad about it. Let's see what he thinks about it. Hold on, let me get him. What do you think, books? What do you think? He don't want to look at me. What do you think? You like it? Do you like it? He has no response. He's that amazed. So guys, you have made it to the end of my video and Boogie does not really still like to be here, but he's good. You're good right there. Don't move so much. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or a million thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notifications button if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay, bye, guys. Bye.
Yeah. Now you want to come back. You didn't want to participate the whole time, and now you want to. Right? 